In this video, we are going to discuss about image formation after light reflected from mirrors, namely flat mirror and spherical mirror. But first, let's see the notations and symbols that we are going to use. Symbol P representing object distance, Q is the image distance, and M is the lateral magnification or also known as the height ratio. The former image are always located by extending diverging rays back to a point at which they intersect. Its location? Well, either at a point from which the rays of light actually diverge or at a point from which they appear to diverge. We can categorize the type of the form image into two. First, real image, if the ray of light pass through and diverge from image point, and this can be displayed on screen. Second one, virtual image, when the ray of light can't pass through but appear to diverge from that point, and virtual image can't be displayed on screen. Let's have a look at the formation of image from a flat mirror. The distance of the object is P. The observer at the bottom can see the object due to the reflection of the rays of light on the flat mirror. And these rays apparently appear to diverge from point behind the mirror at a distance Q, the image distance. Therefore, this is considered as a virtual image and the value of P and Q are equal. The magnification M is given by this ratio is found to be 1, means the object and the image are just the same size. Overall, properties of the image formed by a flat mirror are object distance and image distance are equal, the image is virtual, upright and front-back reversal. Let's now have a look at the spherical mirrors, where these mirrors can be considered as section of a sphere. There are two types, concave mirror and convex mirror. Let's first draw the principal axis. Concave spherical mirror is identified with the silvered surface of the mirror on the inner or concave side of the curve. The central point is given by C and the radius is given by R. On the other hand, a convex spherical mirror has the silvered surface of the mirror on the outer or convex side of the curve. The point in the middle between surface curvature and central point C is identified as F are also known as the focal point, and the distance is known as the focal length of the mirror. The magnification also can be represented by a negative of the ratio Q over P, while P and Q are related by this equation 1 over P plus 1 over Q equal to 2 over R. For spherical mirror, focal length is half of radius. Therefore, we can rewrite the above equation to become this. And this is known as mirror equation. Let's have a look at the sign convention. But first, let's draw this line representing the mirror. The left side is the front side of the mirror. The quantity located on this side is real, while the quantity located on the right side is virtual. Therefore, the quantity on the left side has positive value, while the quantity on the right side has negative value. For mirror, when light incident from front side, it will be reflected without entering the back side. Overall, these quantities has its own meaning when it carry value either positive or negative. Now, let's have a look at the image form from a concave mirror. 
Let's first draw the principal axis and, and the corresponding center point and focal point. This object has a distance bigger than the radius. The first ray passing from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis and reach the mirror surface. Then it is reflected and passing through the focal point and beyond. The second ray passing from the top of the object passing through the center point and reflected back through the same path. The image form at the intersection of these two rays. For this situation, the characteristic of the form image is real, inverted and smaller than the object. Now, let's have a look at the second case where the object is placed closer to the curvature and its value smaller than radius r. If we draw the first ray and second ray, we are going to have this figure. In this case, to get the location of the image, we need to extend the diverging ray behind the mirror, and we soon find out that the image is formed behind the mirror. In this situation, the characteristic of the form image is virtual, upright, and bigger than the object. Next, let's have a look at the image form from a convex mirror. Let's first draw the principal axis and the corresponding center point and focal point. Take note that the location of these points are behind the mirror. This object is located at the front the first ray passing from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis and reach the mirror surface. Then it is reflected away as it seems like it is originally coming from the focal point. And the second ray passing from the top of the object towards the center point and reflected back as it touched the mirror surface. In this case, to get the location of the image, we need to extend the diverging ray behind the mirror. And we soon find out the image I form at the intersection of these two rays behind the mirror. For convex mirror, the characteristic of the form image is always virtual, upright, and smaller than the object. 